Hi guys, Andy here, messing about in the shed again. Uh, today I just wanted to share with you a little money saving tip that I've been doing for some time. I'm going to show you how to make your normal alkaline batteries last up to 10 times longer. And you probably think, oh yeah, he's just going to show us how to put the batteries in a battery charger. Well yeah, that's partly true, but it's not just any charger, it's got to be the right one. Although, I will tell you an alternative way how to do this afterwards. About 30 years ago, in the 1990s, some of the battery companies bought out chargers like this. And then they thought, well this is a bad idea, because it's making our batteries last 10 times longer, so they stopped making them. But you can still get them if you search around. I bought this one off eBay. Uh, brand new in the box for just a few pound and this is the type you want this one is called a, a battery genie and it's by a company called response which used to do uh, house alarms in that kind of era but this is the type you want you've only got to buy one then it does all the different types of batteries does the AA, the AAA, the type C, the type D, the 9 volt PP3 uh, it also does a little 12 volt there, which I'm, I've not really seen. So these slide in and out to fit all the different batteries in. So if you get one of these guys, you haven't got to go out and buy uh, all these expensive rechargeable batteries. Uh, my personal experience, they don't last that long anyway. So the other way that I've heard that you can recharge these normal alkaline batteries is in a normal rechargeable battery charger I've never done it myself I've never tried it um, but if you do it and it works please share it with us all guys uh, give us some comments I'd love to find out and I'm sure a lot of people other people would as well I've heard that using uh, like a normal charger that's not built for these uh, alkaline batteries I've heard they get quite warm um, and how people do it is they charge them for 15 minutes till they they get warm um, and they let them cool down maybe for 15 minutes and repeat the process a few times um, to stop the uh, the seals going in the batteries and uh, prevent them from leaking um, again give us some comments guys let us let us know how you you do it if you know if it is possible this has definitely saved me some money and uh, maybe you do the same but we're using these batteries in all kinds of things now aren't we all the remotes and the sensors um, and thinking that a pack like this can cost over a tenner uh, you can save 10 times that amount by charging the batteries up 10 times you're saving a hundred pound there uh, and long term you know it's a big saving you get from from one of these so thank you very much for watching everyone uh, I really appreciate you spending your valuable time watching my little video. Uh, I hope it's helped you and maybe you could give me a little like if you liked it and uh, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Bye now.